ngwaramen <laughs> La en kero de ti kero de kata semeni la ro de gula luje la da baibul de la ke gwa mu ber lo de 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 te ke cer ko kien de de ben wiran ke ko le la te semeni min indi en de pan ke je ke te ke ko ke nya de me si ku lo nan ka amerika ko je yen ke se da ke se ngi ke ko da ko le ngi ke ga na te ga gul ke te ke lo mi di de ngai ko na mi te ke ra ma si ben pan ke je ke ne pan ki lo ko te de long ka ki lo ko ya de mer ka ta ki ro de la ke je Kete ke se wutin me che lana pan ke je me na pan ja ke ji te lo ru de je se ke ru de ru de je ke je mo la be je long me ke la te se me ne me che ro de lo je lo e ser mon che ga je long ke je na pan me na pan ke je la gu ro me be be me na wa le di e wo je be 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 le le ni tin se wu na wu ke je ne che ngi che ke ke long e ko na bo ri gu ri ne che ke long ke ko na bo ga je ko ne ri che ke ke to la du ro te re di en me la na le ke ta de di en la ri gu ri ne me che be ne me che ke la man di che ke Kari ada tere ada ber kena ber dong, ba ben kamal, cana jeli nga gua kon ben, mi rama ken ben pan kena pan ga je, si mu di ti mi zelong, la abe ke iye kos ke la na biak kamal iye na ga ti mi zel, I don't know how many people are blessed today. If I was to ask how many are blessed, I want you to put your hands down. I wonder those that have not raised, are they blessed? I want to remind you one special blessing we all have. Because I had just come from hospital. And for six months, I could not breathe by myself. I needed a machine to be able to breathe. So anyone here breathing is blessed. So how many people are blessed? Thank you. Father, your word. Pray that you speak to us. And amidst the pain, amidst the sorrow, we know you remain God. You love and care for us. Even as we struggle in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Six months I could not pray. Six months I could not breathe. I needed a machine to breathe. And if I removed the machine, and if I removed the machine, I could not breathe. So it would be something like this. I struggled to breathe. When we take it for granted how easy it is to breathe, we real, until I was so unwell, I realized what a blessing it was to breathe. And I could not stand for long. 
One because my legs were not strong enough. The other reason because when I stood up, breathing became more difficult. So I spent my days sleeping. It was easier to breathe while I was sleeping. And as I kept on breathing with this machine, it was a big machine, uh, maybe half of this table going down, and it had a control where it would control how much oxygen I got. So it would generate the oxygen. And there was a tube that would bring me the mask over my nose and my mouth. This was the life I was living. And as I had this mask, Lying down every day. I kept on asking God. How long? How long? After three months. I went uh, to see my doctor. And my doctor examined me. And an examination that is able to tell how strong the lungs are. How able am I to breathe? And after he did these tests for more than two hours, he came and told me, Lois, you are not doing well. Your lungs are becoming weak and weaker and weaker. You need more oxygen from the machine because your lungs still cannot breathe. I don't know what we are going to do. Maybe you should come back to the hospital that we can continue to monitor your oxygen levels. For those who know the oxygen levels, you're supposed to normally breathe and your oxygen level is supposed to be 100%. If it drops a little, maybe 98%. But mine without the machine it would drop all the way to 64%. And it would continue to drop. So they would have to, I would have to keep the machine on. This made several things difficult for me. One of the things I had problems with was to take a shower to bathe. Because I could not bathe with the machine. I need to remove the machine to bathe. The other problem I had is eating. Because I could not remove the machine for long and eat. So I would eat one or two spoons and return the machine. Life had become very difficult for me. And as I left the doctor's uh, office, the doctor looked at me and said, Lois, after three months, I'm seeing how bad, especially your right lung has totally collapsed. I don't think you're going to make it. I smiled at him. And he said, no, Lois, I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just saying as a doctor what I am seeing through my investigations what I can tell. Instead of you improving you're getting worse. I looked at the doctor and I smiled. 
And he said, maybe Lois, I need to explain to you. Your right lung is hardly operating at all. Your left lung is a little stronger but not strong enough. But let's assume that you stay stabilize in this situation. You will need a breathing machine for the rest of your life. You will not be able to breathe again on your own. I looked at the doctor and I smiled and I said you are only a doctor. Jesus has a final say. And as I went back home I asked myself the questions that we find David asking. From the book of Psalms 13. Kadid, brother, choko waldio. One and two. Brother, Kellyan, can around. Psalms 13. Did choko waldio. One and two. Brother, Kellyan, can around. Boko amane ne be a parwejo loko nyal. Aboko amane ne. Aboko amane chankel. Kaba amane ne brote a kamo. Kaba amane ne bitiida. Bag by root, Raider Mo. Kaba Manene, Bijaglo Ida, the Sunnish Yango, Kachangar, Kelo. Kaba Nanane. How long? Ba Manene. Kaba Amanene. Amanene. Amen. I ask myself, how long? God of Tejan Karan, Ba Amanene. How long will you forget me, God? Ba Manene, be a part with Okos. Will you hide your face from me, God? How long will I continue to struggle in my mind asking questions? How long, God? Will I continue to have sorrow in my heart? And how long, God? Will my enemies triumph over me? This is a question I want us to appreciate that we all ask. When we are suffering, when things are difficult for us, when we are in pain, when we have of sorrow in our hearts. We ask God how long? How long? Amen. Because when we are going through our difficulties it looks like it's forever. When we continue to pray to God, we saw, it seems like God is not hearing and answering our prayers. This was the same question asked by a small young boy called jo uh, Joseph. Joseph was loved so much by the parents. And one day Joseph was told, please Joseph, take this food to your brothers. This young boy, I assume he was uh, maybe the age of this young man, come here. Adam. He was a young boy, I assume maybe about this size. His mother loved him so much. And had made a wonderful coat of many colors for him. But his brothers hated him because he was so much loved. But as he was given food by his mother, and he was told, go to the field and take this food to your brothers. And the brothers where they were herding the sheep, they saw him coming. 
and I assume Joseph must have been singing. And Joseph, don't you? Because he wrong. was a happy boy. And as he was carrying the food, maybe he was singing. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a food is of glory divine. And as he carried the food singing, his brother saw him. Look at that Look at even he's wearing a coat of many colors that mom made for him. We don't get such things out of hatred, anger, bitterness. The brother said, we must get rid of our brother. We've had enough of him being loved. You can imagine this young boy. And when he reached where the brothers were, he was so happy to see them. And said, my brothers, here is the food that he has brought. I brought you food. How are you doing? And the brothers looked at him. They said, come here. We have had enough of you. Let us kill him. And forget he ever lives. And this young boy started crying. Oh no, why did you want to? No, we don't like you. We hate you. We are going to kill you. But we read in the Bible that the brother Simon looked at and said, no, let's not kill him. We don't want the blood in our hands. By the way, there is a pit right there. Let's throw him there. He dies there. They took the small boy and threw him in the pit. The pit was deep. It was dark. It was cold. And the young boy was inside the pit. And I can imagine him crying, Oh God, what have I done? Oh God, what have I done? And as it became, started getting dark, this young boy just kept crying. Please remove me, please remove me. Judah, Simon, please remove me. Please remove me. And this brothers was set to get rid of him. As the sun was setting, there were some people coming by with their camels. And they said, let us sell him, him and make some money. You sell your own brother to make money. You sell your own brother for money, they took him and sold him. I imagine in the journey, Joseph could not even understand the language these people were talking. And as he rode, he said, God, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong, God? And these people were busy talking their own things. But Joseph could not understand what he had done wrong. And as he was sold, he ended up in Egypt. And now you can imagine the young man now as he grew up, please come, the one with the white shirt. Yes. Please come back here again. So, this young man who was sold into slavery started growing up and becoming a big man as a slave in Egypt. And he kept on working hard and asking God, 
How long? We come like that. Boom, long cut here. He even now forgot about home as he grew up. And he continued to grow up. We come to pay them. And as he continued to grow up, we come to pay them. He wondered. Why was I sold into slavery? You can sit down. And as the boy grew up, in slavery, hard labor, away from his relatives or anyone he knew, in a faraway country, he kept on asking God, how long? Ten years, twenty years, thirty years, suffering for something he had not done. He had done nothing wrong to suffer the way he was suffering. He had done nothing wrong to be sold by his brothers. And as he grew up, he kept on asking, how long, God? How long, God? How long, God? And as he grew up, you all know the story. And he became a grown-up person. As he was working now he in the palace, where he had been sold, Maybe I want to assume now he's a big man like this one. I don't know whether he was this tall. But he was a, now an adult man. Potiphar's wife. Potiphar's wife. Potiphar. Wanted. To have a relationship with him. And Joseph knew his God and said, no, I can't agree. And as Potiphar's wife tried to hold him, now, thank you, thank you, there's a lady here who is with me all the way. As he took off, Potiphar's wife was left with the shirt. And, and said, and came and told her husband, this young man working in our house tried to rape me. And, and she was crying crocodile tears. <laughs> he tried to rape me. And Joseph was taken to prison. Joseph left his home. He was thrown in the pit for nothing he had done wrong. He was sold by his brothers for money. He became a slave. Nothing he had done wrong. And now he was taken to prison. And as he was in prison, he kept on asking God, how long? From the time I was a boy, now I'm a grown-up person. And I continue to suffer. One problem after another. I continue to have problems. God, how long? And I can imagine while he was in prison, he would ask God, how long? Why am I now in prison, God? What did I do wrong, God? Why don't you hear my prayers, God? How long, God, will you forget me? How long, God, will you hide your face from me? continue to ask myself so many questions in my God, mind. How long will I continue to be in so much pain because of the suffering I'm going through? God, how long will my enemies triumph over me? As the story goes, finally, the day came 
He had a dream. The butler went and said there's someone who can translate who is able to talk about the dreams. And he was removed from the prison and taken to the palace. God can remove you from the deep dark pit and take you to the palace. God can remove you from people who talk badly about you and his favor is upon you and you become a ruler. God can be able to take away your pain after so many years and you can rejoice in him. And he will bring your enemies to you. The brother Joseph came to Joseph. Your enemies will come and bow in front of you. Those who hate you will come and bow in front of you. When God's favor comes through for you, those who have talked evil about you will come and ask for forgiveness. When God's favor is upon you, he will remove you from the pit and take you to the palace. This is the story of Joseph. And I want us to completely understand this issue for how long. Job asked the same question. He lost his family. All his children. He lost all his property. He was sitting in ashes with the body hardly able, full, uh, all sick. And as Job asked how long, he said, God, God, at his appointed time, he came through for Job. And Job got all what he had lost twofold. When God comes through for you, you get more than you ever had. When God comes through for you, you will have more than you ever had. And we read the book of Job. And we read the book of And we read the book of Job. And we read the book of Job. I want you to read the book of Job. Job 36 verse 15. Job 36 verse 15. It says, those who suffer, he delivers them from their suffering. He speaks to them in their affliction. God speaks to you in your affliction. God is able to deliver you from your suffering. And he continues to say, that when you trust in God, God will see you through. We know that uh, the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it's a very common verse. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. It says, Jeremiah 29, I have good plans for you. But if God has good plans for me, why do I continue to suffer? If God has good plans for me, a good future ahead full of hope. Why am I suffering now? Maybe it is your body. 
Physically, you are not feeling well. Maybe it is your family, the way you are living, you are not living well. There's so much hatred, there's so much envy, there's so much backbiting. You are falsely accused. Everything you try to do, they find a good reason to hate you. Every time you speak, they find a reason to spite you. Every time you try to do your best, you are condemned that whatever you are doing is useless. We read from the book of um, Jeremiah 29 12 and 13 and that when we call upon the Lord he will listen. We are being reminded that when we seek God and seek God with all our heart, he will be able to hear us. If only we seek him. I want to tell you the story of Joseph. Joseph finally had two sons with his beautiful wife Asenath. And he had two sons. One was called Manasseh. And the other one was called Ephraim. I want us to read the book of Genesis 41. 50, 51 and 2. 50 to 51 and 52. 41. 41. Okay. 50, 51 okay. and 52. Choka Janwa Nurakel, Bad Jendiesh, Jendirakel, Waka Jendiri Rao. Ajana Chu Joseph Kana Asanas, God Dangrao Diet, Chu Joseph Dorn in Ka Cholimanase, Weukos Jaka, Pala Pala Trader. Pala Trader Ridge. Kanajido Aradial, to Erode, Mendong Chole, Ephraim, Way, to Koda Jaka, Dabba, Roll, Micharic, to Boom, Jackson. He got two sons. Take a guard arrow. The first son was called Manasse. Manam Chole Manasse. Meaning that God has made me forget all my troubles in the past. No, 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 to Kos Chaja, can you make you a jockey for Chaja? He got a second son. Catch you around a dab. Which said, God has blessed me and been fruitful in the land. land. I don't know whether there is someone who continues to ask a question, how long? You continue to struggle with your finances. You continue to struggle in your life. But this day, I want to tell you, God can make you have two sons. The first son is Manasseh. He'll make you forget everything you have gone through. He'll have Manasseh that you forget your past. God will bless you with Manasseh that the past will be forgotten. And God will bless you with Ephraim. God will bless you and make you fruitful. He will bless you because the plans God has for you they are good plans not to hurt you they are plans with a future and a good hope I don't know whether somebody is saying God you have told us today that when we pray upon you, you will hear us. When we seek you with all our heart, God, you listen to us. I don't know 
know whether somebody here today is saying, God, I want to learn to wait upon you. I want to learn to wait upon you. And know that I will get Manasseh. I forget all this suffering I'm going through now. I forget all this suffering I'm going through now. And I will be able to be blessed in the land of uh, the, the land I live in. I don't know whether there is someone who is saying, God, I want to learn to wait upon you. Even as Joseph waited so many years from a small boy to a grown-up person, he continued to wait upon God. He never gave up as he came all the way from the pit. God took him to the palace. God will remove you from the pit you are I don't think you are hearing me. God will remove you from the pit you are now and he'll take you to the palace. And if you are saying, God, I want to learn to wait upon you. Even as I ask, how long, God? I know you have good plans for me. I know you have good plans for me. Though I am suffering now. Though I can't sleep now. Though I can't even eat. I can hardly do anything, Lord, because I'm having so many problems. I know I'll come from the pit to the palace. If this is your prayer this evening and you're saying, God, I'll wait upon you. I know. God, I know. God, I truly know. Though I am suffering now. Though I'm in so much pain now. Though my enemies are really rejoicing in me. Though I'm asking how long God. I know my future is assured. If that is your prayer. Please put your hand up. Come to me Wave your hand up. That God will wait upon you. And I know you remove me from my present suffering. And be able to take me to the palace. Let us pray. Keep your hand up. Remember what I told you. Even having your hand up is a blessing. Remember I told you I could not even lift a finger. Leave alone. Hand. I do not lift a finger. When you can raise your hand, raise it because it's a blessing. And say, God, I wait upon you. I don't know how long, but I will wait upon you. Let us pray. Father, help us to learn to wait upon you. Amen. You have told us you have good plans for us, a future and unexpected hope. Amen. You have told us, oh God, that you, when we cry upon you, you will hear us. Amen. But even as we ask how long, we continue to suffer. We continue to have pain. We continue to have sorrow. Oh God, have mercy upon us. Amen. Remember us. Remove us from the pit and take us to the palace. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
ยาวังมอนยาวังมอนคันดูนงูเอบายบลเลบายบลบายบลกว่ายาวังมอนคันดูนงูคันเมย์เยจูกระสูไม่จานนักไม่อยากวัดยากกุยดุนทำไมไม่ทวนยาจูกระทำนจกับไฟในใจควารารอเดิเจ้าควาลิวเขาคุยดุนใช้งาบยา